I'm Glenn Wilson, the manager of the Pleasure Hill Inn. Um, it's on Higling Broad, right on the far edge of Higling Broad. We have um, both a mixture of community uh, chimney pots around here, and we've got the um, uh, the broad outside with more than 20 foot outside the front door. In summer, um, we're probably 80% holiday people, 20% locals. In winter, we're 100% locals. We bought the pub as a, a, a completely closed, defunct business. Um, there was a fear that we'd go for housing, but the, because of the link with the Broads Authority, we've got Silent Club Moorings outside as well. Um, that almost had to continue trading as a pub. We started inside, we decorated, refurbished toilets, refurbished here. Kitchens are um, up to um, four out of five stars. We've cleaned up outside, gardens look lovely, we've got marquees up. The moorings have been redone at great, that was the biggest expense we've done. Um, and a new path is put in all the way up to the point. Um, there's benches up there as well. We have to accept there are some people that don't like pubs. Don't like being in a pub. And that was, the, the, the idea started more of a coffee shop area to encourage people to wander in and sit down and have a cup of coffee. With this area closed off, so you, the, the drink sales were closed off to those sort of people. So we took the bull by the horns and, and decided we'll have a small shop with the papers with the coffee shop, we do um, bacon sandwiches and that sort of thing in the early mornings. Most of the people that wouldn't come in the pub, because they don't like alcohol or whatever, um, are uh, much, much more interested in, in the shop side of things. We wouldn't see them otherwise, we re really wouldn't. Um, th there is no other link. This has linked us very, very well. Um, and uh, we've gained other things out of it as, uh, as well. Not the, the, there's a, a very successful village hall here. We tend to get a lot of the weddings and functions that they do up there. That, um, and that comes back to being linked with the committees because a lot of the committee members come here and, and, and come in for the shop. We're four miles from the nearest village or town that has got a, there's a Tesco there which is what would shut all these other places down. They will still go there to Tesco's and do their weekly shop, we know that, but we are a get out of jail. But one of the things that Pub is the Hub advised us from the outset when we explained what we wanted was um, to use branded uh, uh, tins and, and, and things. So in other words, don't, don't get happy shopper baked beans, get Heinz baked beans. No one's going to come with a trolley and fill them, do their weekly shopping. You can afford to be at other than the 10p more because you're just selling the odd one. One thing you've got to get used to as a, a publican is that the margins are very small on the shop. The, the key to it, as far as we're concerned, was the have, having the shop at the end of the bar so that the staff that we've got on can deal with the shop as well as the bar. If the, in, in winter I would expect this shop, we've got 30 pre-ordered newspapers a day uh, for villagers, plus winter two or three. In, in summer it's more like 45, 50 papers, plus obviously we've got the booty salad buying ice creams and, and all sorts. The shop would turn over in summer probably about £100 a day. In winter, that would be about £30 a day. Now, obviously, if you had someone stand alone on minimum wage sitting there servicing that shop, that's a loser. The shop side, we won't do any more with uh, for the foreseeable future. This this does work, um, and, and that's enough. But Pub is Hub do advise you on that. They, they'll advise you to think, think smaller in terms of turnover, in terms of uh, profitability, you, that's not a golden goose. Um, you may do well out of your teas, coffees, if you can do it that way, rather than just have a standalone shop. If you have a standalone shop, you put it in, 
you, you've got to get used to it's a community service. That's, if it makes £20 a week, you're done well.